All right. What's up, my beautiful people? I'm like leaning down because I really want you to just see the board. That's what we're really here for. We're here for the board. We're here to look at some five stocks that's gonna pay you dividends that I believe that's going to really spike during the stimulus, COVID, you know, as we get out of this uh, gonna rut of investing in this rut of the economic things that's going on right now. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first stock we have for the first five stocks is gonna be Walmart. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure about you, but you know, there's so many people who shop at Walmart. Walmart got the new Walmart Plus that's happening uh, to kind of compete with Amazon. Right now, their stocks is at 136.53. And that's of today's recording. Their dividend yield is 1.58%. So that's going to equal $2.16 per stock annually. Okay, so if you got five stocks, you're going to end up with, you know, $10 worth of dividend, a little over $10 a dividend. So why I say this is a really good stock, because the beta is under 1%. A lot of people don't pay attention to the beta, right? They're like, what is the beta? A lot of people don't even know what the dividend yield is and how to calculate this, right? So I'm giving you all this right now so it can make investing that much easier for you, all right? How many people do you know go to Walmart? Like sometimes investing is simply looking at what's going on right now and being like, all right, cool. I know that when people get a lot of stimulus checks, they're going to you know shop and try to get food and 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 materials like toilet paper and toothbrush, toothpaste and things like that. Invest in the things that's already out there. We know that we know a lot of people who shop at Walmart. Why not have Walmart in your portfolio? Do you shop at Walmart? Like think about it. You know, in these five stocks, you're going to see a pattern here where it's going to be like a lot of these stocks and stocks that you already you know, you go to or you engage in or you got things in your house from these companies. So why not, you know, buy stock in these companies? Again, you could buy one share, you could buy, you know, two shares, you could take a thousand dollars and just put it into this, but definitely invest in Walmart. Walmart has a 1.58% dividend yield. Right now, due to stimulus and everything, they're printing money. And, you know, if you don't have your money invested in something like an actual asset, you're pretty much losing money to inflation. You're pretty much losing money because they're keep printing money. So this is one stock that pays, you know, 1.58 dividend, uh, $2.16 uh, $2 per share annually. So annually, you divide this by four because they have, you know, Q1, Q2, you know, Q1 uh, through Q4. And, you know, annually you'll get the 216 uh, you know, per share. So again, beta is going to be 0.29. That means this is a very safe investment. How do you know that? Or how can you determine that? If you go look at the S and P, right? S and P 500, uh, that beta is around like, you know, one. Okay. So anything below one is an extremely safe investment, right? Anything above that, then you got to start thinking like, all right, cool. You know, maybe I'm taking a little risk. Uh, is going to kind of be volatile a bit, you know, it's going to go up and down, but this is going to stay pretty stagnant, all right? And again, just think about the Walmart stock. Walmart has Walmart Plus happening. Again, the condition of what we're living in today, people are going to buy stuff from Walmart. People want to, you know, uh, buy groceries, buy supplies, uh, get through the stimulus. When they get their stimulus checks, they're going to go, you know, supply their home. So, I see a lot of potential in Walmart and it's definitely going to grow and it's definitely something you should have in your portfolio long term. There's Walmart. There's another one that we're going to talk about next. And, uh, you know, there's a few we're actually we're going to talk about next <laughs> that's going to compete with Amazon. Amazon is like this almighty thing, but it doesn't pay out dividends. So if you're looking for a dividend paying stock, definitely look at Walmart. Walmart is a strong investment they have a lot of things coming in the future they got look i'm gonna try to they got drones starting to deliver packaging i know y'all seen that they're gonna have freaking drones delivering packages imagine that you got a walmart drone delivering packages to your door again to compete with amazon walmart is going to be a strong investment and again you're going to have that dividend paying yield and you're going to get paid every month every quarter and you're going to get paid, you know, uh, 2.16, uh, 
$2.16, excuse me, per year. Now think about you times that, and that's per stock annually. So if you buy five shares, if you buy 20, if you buy 100, that's how much you're going to get paid annually. So now we're going to move on to the next stock. All right, so the next stock we're going to talk about is Target, Tinker TGT. Okay, so right now Target, when you look at it today recording, uh, is going to be $156.47. The dividend yield is 1.74%. And then the beta is going to be, again, under 1. So it's going to be 0.87. That means it's a safe investment. You don't see a lot of volati uh, volatility. And then the dividend yield payout is 2.72. Uh, so, sorry. Again, I got to get used to stop saying that. But it's going to be $2.72 per stock annually. Again, this is another safe bet, especially during the stimulus, especially during the, you know, pandemic coronavirus uh, atmosphere. Think about, you know, we talked about Walmart just previously. We talked about Amazon and Amazon is going to be having drones delivered and uh, Amazon Plus, Amazon Prime. Walmart got Amazon Plus. Um, I mean, <laughs> Walmart has Walmart Plus. Target is going to come out with something. Target already has the red card, right? That's like 5% uh, off your purchase and things like that, different incentives. But think about what's coming up, holiday. Think about, you know, those who can't, you know, you know, go to Walmart, they go to, they well, not can't, they don't go to Walmart and they go to Target instead, right? You have to think about, again, the stimulus. They're going to get their check, they're going to get their money, and they're going to go buy groceries, supplies, and everything at Target because they are a Target person. Target is their brand loyalty. So they're going to go to Target. This is a safe bet right now. This is a state this is a safe bet for your portfolio as well. Again, you could go for the Amazons, you could go for the bigger companies, but if you want a safe uh positive uh you know, slow growth but definitely going to have your money and pay you a dividend every month, you want to go with one of these safe bets. Again, beta uh is going to be uh, below 1%. So that means it's not going to fluctuate so much. This is going to be a safe bet for you. This is the uh, second dividend paying out of the five. I highly recommend Target. Um, I have this in my portfolio. Again, you can do what you want, but if I'm thinking about, you know, investing, if I'm thinking about the current atmosphere, if I'm thinking about companies that has longevity, Target is going to be one of them. Walmart, we just talked about, is going to be one of them. And next, we're going to get into the next one. All right, so for the third stop, we have Costco. I don't know about you, but when the pandemic first started and Costco, you couldn't even find toilet paper nowhere. During that whole toilet paper craze, you couldn't find nothing nowhere. But Costco is a wholesale store. You may have heard of BJ's or Sam's Club, but Costco is one of the top wholesale stores where you can buy your food and your supplies in bulk. Man, Costco during this time completely took off. Right now, it's uh, trading at $351.26. Uh, you know, uh, tick, uh, ticker, excuse me, is cost for Costco. Dividend yield is, is it's under 1%. But it still pays a dividend. It's a very, very safe investment. It's at 0.80%. Um, so that equals $2.80 per stock annually. And the beta is 0.69. So again, this is extremely safe. Anything that's under 1, you know what I'm saying? Uh, again, because we got that from the S&P 500, uh, anything under one is extremely safe. It doesn't have vol uh, volatility so high and so frequent. Now, why do I pick Costco? And you kind of see that this is a theme here. These five dividend paying stocks that we're covering is all consumer good stocks. We're going into the holidays. We're getting to Black Friday and Cyber Monday and things like that. Uh, you know, as we head into the holidays, Costco during this pandemic time, people again are going to get their stimulus checks and they're going to spend on supplies and things that they need for their home. Right. And Costco, you can buy at bulk. Costco spent a lot of their money reinvested into their company because they don't spend money on marketing dollars. Uh, it's rare that you see a Costco uh, commercial ad. Costco was a lot of word of mouth. And again, you could buy, uh, you know, 
supplies. You could buy wine. You could buy food. You could buy uh, toilet paper, toothbrush, pillows. Uh, you could buy, name it, you could buy that Costco at bulk and at discount rates. And every day they have some kind of, uh, you know, savings uh, plan for you. So Costco is going to be another strong investment during this pandemic time, during as we get into the holiday season. And it's going to really hold steady for your portfolio. Again, the dividend payout is less than 1%, but it still pays a dividend. And with this whole, you know, program that we're doing right now, it's about stocks that's going to pay you a dividend and it's going to help you grow your money and put your money in a safe place long term. When you, you know, have more money, you can take on more risk. You can, you know, look at, you know, startup companies. You can look at seed investment or serial, uh, serial investment, A, B, or C. But right now we're looking at pub publicly traded stocks, excuse me, that's going to pay you out a dividend and that's going to be a safe investment. Everybody can't take risk. Everybody risk tolerance is different, right? At different levels. But Costco, Walmart, Target, the ones that we talked about so far, they are going to give you a safe return. Everyone uses it. I don't see these companies going anywhere in the next 5, 10, 15 years. You may have some fluctuation, but due to the beta being under one, it's not going to really change that much. Yes, the dividend yield is lower than 1%, but you know you have your money in a safe growth stock. And it's, again, is most important is going to be safe, right? You can take risks later on the more money you make, but let your money make money for you. Okay, so again, we got Costco, ticker, cost is going to be right now trading at $351.26. Again, a little bit on the high end from the other two that we uh, covered. Dividend yield is going to be lower. It's going to be 0.8%, uh, 0.80%, excuse me. That's going to be uh, $2.80 per stock annually. So let me put that dollar sign so nobody get confused. And then beta is going to be 0.69, extremely safe. You know, this means safe. Safe is good, okay? You don't have to, you don't have to take high risk on everything. You don't have to, a, a majority of us don't have that much money to be taking risk and, and losing out on investments. So that's going to be a safe bet because it's under 1% which is 1% is the S&P 500 average. Everybody know index funds. We're going to cover that in another course. Uh, but this is stock number three, and I strongly recommend, you know, you look at this stock for your investment portfolio. So for stock number four, we're almost at five. I hope you guys are learning a lot from this. Um, but again, these are safe investment. These are publicly traded companies. I Like the whole point of investing is to make your money work for you to make your money grow. And if you could get dividend paying stocks, why not, right? Eventually your dividend paying stocks are gonna help you pay your bills. It's gonna help you, you know, invest in other things. But, you know, investing, there's many ways you can invest. Uh, I just really like dividend paying stocks because I invest in a company and when they grow, they pay out a dividend and they pay me, right? And then they're safe bets, okay? I like. You know, I have some investment that takes risk, but I like safe bets, especially when it comes to the stock market, especially when people are like, oh, there's going to be a stock market correction. There's going to be a crash. Oh, my. It's like, why won't I want a safe bet? So, again, number stock number four is going to be Kroger. Again, we're staying with that same theme. Everybody can't afford Amazon. Everybody can't. And by that, I mean, everybody don't have Internet. Everybody don't have a laptop, uh, you know. Everybody can't afford Walmart. Everybody can't afford Target, right? So the next one is Kroger. And uh, Kroger is a shop that has like a lot of fair prices. Kroger kind of Inc. Uh, falls under and like a few familiar names. It's going to be Fred Meyer, Kroger, the actual store, Food for Less, Ralph's, Fry's, City Market, Dylan's. Like, again, more of that kind of everyday neighborhood kind of lower end neighborhood or just cost saving food uh kind of just you know saving a bunch of money on your grocery is not going to target a walmart where you can see is a bit more expensive than like a fred meyer right uh kroger is currently priced at 33 dollars and 66 cents uh that's today's ticker uh dividend yield is going to be 2.14 percent that's going to be uh 72 cent per share annually, 
This is a pretty good uh, dividend yield right here. Beta, of course, y'all know how I like it. Under 1% volatility. It's not going to really go nowhere, right? Like, I like to keep it low, okay? So it's at 0.31. I mean, that is extremely low. So the volatility on this stock is going to be pretty much very little to none. And again, this is a safe bet. During this whole COVID, during the whole stimulus, again, I, as you can see the theme here, a lot of people are going to be looking to spend their money wisely. There's going to be a lot of people with low income or you know lost their job that's going to be looking to get more value out of their dollar. And Kroger and their many stores is going to be a huge and a great investment for that. Again, dividend yield, 2.14%. That's a really good dividend. If they say the average dividend a year is 2%, the Fed is targeting, you know, a 2% inflation or they're trying to keep, you know, dividends at 2% and lower, even though recently they said they're going to, they might let it go up, but the average is going to be 2%. This is a really good dividend payout. Uh, and then the beta is a safe, safe is good, safe, safe. You want your money to be safe. Again, there are growth stocks. That's good too. But if you're looking to invest long-term and let your money work for you and let your money work for five, 10 years, this is going to be a safe bet. And then we have again, 2.14%. That's going to equal 72 cents per share annually. Okay. So you're getting paid monthly. You're getting paid uh, throughout the year just to hold on to this stock. Just think about that. That's what I love about dividend paying yields. Yes, you got to pay taxes on dividends. Yeah, but think about you, you know, having what, 10, 15, 20, just put $1,000 in this, right? Let's just say you put $1,000 in Kroger, you know, because you got $1,000. Uh, put $1,000 in this, and then after that, they pay you 0 0.72 cent uh, per share annually. Just think about that. Safe is good. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. I know there's Apple. I know there's like Tesla and all this stuff like, but safe is good. Don't stare away from this. And especially during the time we're living in right now, you want to invest in stock that's going to, you know, protect the people, right? The people are going to determine the market. I'm going to just tell you straight up. If I was at a low income end and, you know, even now I, I'm fortunate enough to have some money, but I still shop at Fred Meyer. I'm trying to get the good price for my money, right? I'm trying to, you know, make sure my money go even further due to inflation, due to the price of food and everything going up, due to, you know, the pandemic and the cut of supplies. I want my money to go further than it can. I, I go to Costco, I go to Target, I go to Fred Meyer, you know. So again, this is a safe bet. This is a safe play, and definitely during the COVID pandemic era. And when people get their stimulus check, if you are on the lower income range, you're going to go to Walmart. You're going to go to Fred Meyer, uh, any Kroger kind of industry, you know, uh, store, whether it's Fred Meyer, Kroger, Food for Less, Ralph's, etc. You're going to go to these shops because you're going to get more value for your dollar. And that's the whole point of it. So if you're an investor, you want to play it safe and you want to stay, you know, with the market trend. Now, later on, you can move your, you know, percentages however you want. But with these five dividend paying stocks, Kroger number four is going to be a strong investment, especially for the time that's coming up, which I believe. Okay, last but not certainly least, uh, out of the five dividend paying stocks that I'm offering you today that are safe investments that I believe that's going to grow during this pandemic stimulus, just weird time we are in in America, but it's going to have a long lasting growth history and which has had a long lasting growth history uh, since you know the last 10, 15 years. The last one is going to be Dollar General, Tinker DG. Currently is trading at $211.03. The dividend yield is 0.69%. That equals $1.44 per stock annually. Okay, and then the beta, again, very safe. The beta is going to be 0.48. That means it's not going to fluctuate. It's not going to go up and down. This is a really sound, safe investment. When you're thinking about, you know, Dollar General, you're thinking about a wholesale discount store. Rather, that's goods. You know, a lot of kids are working, uh, Excuse me, a lot of uh, kids are going to school remotely, so they're going to need supplies, notebooks, pencils, papers, 
you know, from home. So you still have to go to Dollar General. Dollar General also sells food. It has a frozen section, also sells supplies. So Dollar General is going to be another discounted uh, wholesale place where a lot of people, if you're living on the lower income end who lost their job or who just don't make the, you know, the average minimum wage, they're going to be going to Dollar General. They're going to be shopping here. Again, you think about Dollar General, you're like, you know, I don't shop at Dollar General. I don't know. But when I walk around and I see people going in and out of Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and some of the different stores under Dollar General, I see why this stock is $211. $211.03 cents to be exact, right? Because people do shop here. Everyone don't shop at Amazon, Walmart, Target, Costco, because everyone can't afford it. That's just the reality. So Dollar General is going to be another safe, strong investment that's going to pay you dividends annually. And these are the five stocks that I have. Okay, next we're going to be talking about, you know, when do these stocks pay out throughout the year and when will you be getting paid your dividends if you hold on to these stocks? Okay, so for the five dividend paying stocks that I listed here, again, don't worry about me. I'm going to be back here because it's not about me. It's about the stocks. It's about you. It's about you investing in dividend paying stocks. It's about you making your money work for you. You protecting your assets and your uh, purchasing power is about you growing your wealth. Okay, so again, the five dividend paying stocks we went over was Walmart, Target, Costco, Kroger, and Dollar General. Okay, so... Uh, I wanted to talk about how you would get paid out throughout the year if you hold some of these stocks. All right. So with Walmart, you get paid March, May, August, December. Target is February, May, August, November. Costco is February, May, August, November. Kroger is February, May, August, November. Dollar General is June uh, sorry, it says January, clearly. January, April, July, October. So, for example, you can see Target, Costco, and Kroger, pretty much you'll get paid three times in February, May, August, and November because th these three here pay dividends around the same time. So you would get paid three times if you hold these companies in your portfolio uh, February, May, August, and November in dividends if you hold these three. And then, you know, in May, you'll get paid four times because if you have Walmart, right? And then uh, I'm just going to go through these. So August, you'll get paid four times. August here, August here, August here, August here. November, you get three times here. Uh, February, again, three times. Uh, May, one, two, three, four times. We talked about that briefly. December. So you're going to get paid every month out the year with the exception of June and September. And the more that you build your dividend paying uh, growth portfolio, eventually you're, every month you're going to get paid a dividend by holding stock. Okay. So these are the five dividend paying stocks that I believe you should have in your portfolio as we go through this COVID pandemic time where people are going to get their stimulus checks and they're going to go shopping. They're going to go to Walmart. They're going to go to Target, Costco, Kroger, Dollar General. You know, yes, people have access to Amazon. Amazon is a powerful growth paying stock, but uh, growth stock, but these are going to pay you dividend. Okay. Like these are going to give you money back when they grow. And everybody can't afford that $3,000 Amazon stock, right? And I don't see them cutting their stock anytime soon or splitting their stock anytime soon. So these are the five that I will recommend. These are the five that are in my portfolio currently as I just cruise through this pandemic and play it safe and just protect my purchasing power and protect my money. Thank you so much. Uh, and again, this is what I have. The exception, you get paid every month throughout the year with the exception of June and September. These are the five dividend paying stocks. One more time, Walmart, Tinker, WMT, Target, TGT, Costco, excuse me, uh, Tinker, Cost, C-O-S-T, Kroger, Tinker, K-R, Dollar General, uh, Tinker, D-G.
That's a that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful.